Hey kitties and welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a todos. For those of you who are new, welcome to the kitty gang. And for those of you who have been rocking with me since the very beginning, welcome back. Anyways, let's get into this video. Um, I'm sorry if the angle looks a little weird or whatnot. It's because my tripod broke. So I just like rigged everything. So I'm hoping it comes out okay. And even the lighting is like, a little off too but whatever we're gonna make it do okay because I really wanted to get this video up for you guys and I'm just gonna jump and get started this is gonna be a get ready with me and just following up with you guys on what's been going on what's going on with life um, so in one of my videos I had discussed about the fact that I am planning my wedding and I wanted to document like this process so right now I'm getting ready it is Monday and we're about to go do cake tasting this is our second cake tasting that we're gonna do and then after that we're going to um, Islands of Adventure um, we went to Universal's last week and this week we're doing Islands of Adventure it's like our little um, date night date day or something like that <laughs> if that makes sense i'm really excited as far as the wedding everything's going really really well i can't complain the process of planning our wedding has um, been going great and i'm so blessed and grateful that things are going the way that they are going i hear like a bunch of like horror stories of people planning their weddings and whatnot but we don't want our wedding to be like that and another thing is we're not about like procrastinating we're just trying to get things done as quick as possible you know because even though we have a year a year goes by really quick guys so you see these breakouts by the way do you see these breakouts this is ridiculous i need <sighs> I need something. No, I need a facial. And on top of that, um, I just been eating kind of shitty. I just recently got back into eating like really clean again. And yeah, so your girl is literally trying to get her life together when it comes down to like eating really, really clean again. Um, just cooking at home, trying not to eat out. If I do eat out, it's only when we like go out and stuff like that. But you know just being busy and ordering food all the time no don't do it and my skin suffers like my skin lets me know like this is all digestion this one right here is because you know that time of the month is about to come i just need to clean my insides i'll probably do like a nice cleanse um colon cleanse you know sorry if i'm getting a little too uh out there for you guys but that's what you got to do you got to clean your inside so then you can radiate on the outside so i think we're just gonna use my infallible pro glow and pro matte and i just mix 108 and 209 together okay so for the wedding we have the venue picked out already and the venue that we have is so dreamy guys <laughs> it's like literally we're getting married in december of next year and so it's like a winter wonderland it's going to be gorgeous um with that being said we already have our photographer and our videographer as well um we have the dj too we're in the process of of course like the cake which i'm so excited to show you how the cake is gonna look it's gonna be adorable and we're actually doing a cupcake so we're doing a vegan cake for us to cut and then we're also doing vegan cupcakes and we're gonna have different like flavors you know for people to choose from so we're about to go to a coffee shop near us and we're gonna do the cake tasting there which i'm excited to go to that little coffee shop i'm hoping they have like some kind of tea or something so we got dj venue and the venue that we got we got such a great deal too they take care of all of the decorations um my next step is wedding dress shopping i'm gonna do my dress shopping and then also my bridesmaids shopping so my girls are coming into town so i might do a little bit of vlogging when it comes down to that i don't want to vlog too too much but um of course i'm not gonna vlog the dress i'll probably vlog 
some of the dresses that I try on because I want you guys to see and kind of come along with me on this adventure because really it is an adventure and I you know want to document the process of what it is you know planning a wedding and whatnot um, I have the save the dates already and I'll be sending those out in a couple weeks then I gotta start thinking of the invitation what is that oh that's leftover <laughs> that was leftover of my curl cream so I'll send those out. I have to start looking at invitation ideas as well too. I do have to contact a florist. So hold on, let me do my neck real quick. So we also have picked out the gifts that we will be giving out to our guest. Um, we have to start thinking about, we have like a little bit of a pastry we're gonna have like a candy pastry bar so we're just thinking of what do we want to put in there of course you know i'm latina and i'm puerto rican and cuban and especially cubans we love our pastelitos so we will definitely have those pastelitos de guayaba <laughs> we need to have those those are a must so we'll be thinking of that we have the gifts we're just gonna order those which i'm really excited about um i'm excited about everything honestly too to be honest, I am so excited about everything. If you guys see me looking up, it's because the mirror is up here. So, uh, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, we've already decided, we pretty much have it down to like where we wanna go for our honeymoon. And what we wanna do, we wanna do two weeks and one week will be just for us and for us just to spend quality time and enjoy each other and the fact that we're married so we're looking for an all-inclusive resort and we kind of have the destination that we want of course it's going to be somewhere tropical because um hello your girl here loves freaking the caribbean and ebony is like loves any try type of like tropical weather or any island so now we're just like looking at the resorts and just seeing where we want to go and which one your girl is trying to get into the best shape of her life again because i gotta look snatched.com on my wedding day i plan on having two dresses so I'll have one dress, of course, that I get married in, ceremony, part of the reception. And then when it comes down to the get down, your girl will be switching out of her dress because I'm sorry, like no shade and to each their own, but I will not be that bride that will be dancing in her wedding dress all night, not being able to move. Like I like to move to my salsa, my merengue, my bachata, my twerking music. Like I like to dance. So... I'll be getting like a dress that I can dance in. I'm trying to think of ideas for my bouquet. Oh, I also like for the ceremony, which is amazing that our venue, they take care of like the drapery, the chandeliers, everything. Three months before the wedding, we sit down and we do a mock-up table of how we want our tables to look as well as how we want you know the reception area to be so we'll do that three months before the wedding we come in and we spend like a couple hours with them and we do that but since they take care of everything during the ceremony the only thing i need to get is a runner for the aisle and real rose petals because i want rose petals to be like swirled like down the runner you guys will see if everything goes great you know the videographer i definitely want to post the wedding video so i'll be posting that for you guys to see because i want you guys to be a part of my big day you know like this is this is important to me um what are we gonna use we're gonna use the shade and light palette from kat von z and i'm just gonna use this color right here the yellow one kind of like a little banana color 
And I'm just gonna pop this in. So this look that I'm doing is pretty much my go-to look. Like when I go to work or whatnot, like if I don't have time or I just don't feel like doing my makeup like that, this is what I will do. It's pretty easy and simple, at least for me, you know. It takes a little longer when you're recording, but typically it takes me like, when I do this for work, usually like 20 minutes, 25 minutes. We're gonna use the Cover Effects. This is the blotting powder, but I use it because it's like a mattifying powder. I use it just to kind of mattify, but you can see I hit pan. That's how much I love this thing, but, and just pounce it into the skin and then I'll swirl it a little bit. So just spending quality time at home, spending a lot of quality time with Ebb. I've been working a lot. Um, I absolutely love, love my job. Um, I'm so much happier where I'm at now, you know. I just feel better. I am appreciated where I'm at, which is great. You know, our owners that own the company, they're really nice people. On top of that, you know, management, everything. I'm truly blessed to have this opportunity. So things are going really well. Um, so far, so good. Oh, thanks, booby. She brought me some curio. Do you want to come say hi? How excited are you about the wedding? Super duper. Wow. I'm excited. You are? I'm very excited. In a year from now, we'll be Mrs. and Mrs. Rivas. So yeah, for, if you guys don't know this, um, Ebony is actually taking my last name, which a lot of people are kind of shocked and they're like, what? But like I said, we are not traditional. We are far from traditional. And honestly, like when I picture myself getting married, I've always, well, it's not just picture myself getting married, but picture myself getting married to her because I don't see myself marrying anyone else but her. Um, I've always wanted her to take my last name. And I ain't even gonna lie, but I've always been proud of my last name. Honestly, guys, life has been really, really good. I can't complain. I feel like I am staying positive and, you know, working on myself and manifesting the things that I want to manifest in my life and I feel like everything is just slowly coming together and it comes down to the power is in you it's always gonna be in you you just have to believe in yourself um, and this is coming from someone who was always very hesitant to do things because I've suffered from anxiety for so many years that you know I never really talked about what is that looking like chapapote that is not cute okay <laughs> what was that and chapapote is like muddy <laughs> but you know coming from someone who always dealt with like really bad anxiety i never really told anyone about it but i've suffered from anxiety since i was a little girl and i felt like it paralyzed me sometimes where i just didn't go for the things that i really wanted to go for and now it's just like no, I'm gonna go for it and I'm gonna do what I want and what I love and succeed my goals. And if I don't, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna keep trying. You have the ability to manifest and create everything that you want. You have the power to have everything that you want. You just have to change your mentality. I'm back to reading again. I know I've talked about this in my past videos. I'm reading currently you are a badass at making money. So, so far so good. It's still, you know, I'm still like just beginning the book, but the fact that I'm, you know, back to reading just makes me so happy. She has a, a previous book um, before she came out with You're a Badass at Making Money. And she became, she blew up at the age of 40 and she even said like, I was 40 years old, never thinking that I was going to, you know, succeed or do the things that I, 
have been able to accomplish but look at me like you know now she's like one of the top best sellers and that just comes to show that you're able to do whatever it is that you want and go for your dreams please guys don't ever feel like you're not good enough or you're not worthy or you, it's just not possible like you have to change your thought process like it's all about the way that you think you know our minds like always go to a negative route where people are just so pessimistic and I was one of those people when I was younger but I refuse to be that person because changing my mindset has changed my life and you have to surround yourself around people who are like-minded and when you're around people who aren't like-minded they just serve they don't really serve a purpose in your life at the end of the day like they don't feed your soul they don't they don't feed anything you know it's like you feel like you're killing brain cells when you're talking to them so surround yourself around people that are going to believe in you and just hype you up and be there for you so you, you have to have a good support system. And I tell you guys all the time, if you don't have a support system, you guys are more than welcome to reach out to me and I will try to be there for you, you know? I'm just gonna use that same shade and light palette and I'm gonna go in with the same bronzer that I went in with, this one right here, and just work that into my crease. So in the process of things, I have told you guys that I'm always trying to, you know, emotionally, mentally, physically elevate myself. I did something really important, something that I needed to do for a really long time and I just feel like a weight has been lifted off of my shoulders. So you know that in my videos, you know, I don't talk too much about family because, you know, I respect their privacy and things like that. But I also don't talk about family because it is a very sensitive subject for me now. Um, you guys have heard me talk about, you know, my, my mom and my sister. But you guys have never heard me talk about my dad. And my dad and I did not talk for six years. And... It still makes me a little emotional, you know, that we didn't talk for so long, but at the end of the day, you know, things happen and, you know, mistakes are done and whatnot, but I finally reached out to him and we are building our relationship. It makes me really happy that we are working on our relationship because it's something that did affect me for a really long time, even though... I pretended like it didn't it really did um, I'm kind of one of those people that it's like oh out of sight out of mind I'm good blah 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 no girl you have to deal with that stuff and I suppressed a lot of feelings and emotions and you know they were projected sometimes um, in a negative way because it's feelings that I hadn't uh, dealt with so they do come out in certain ways that uh, you're not proud of sometimes. So now we are building our relationship, which is really awesome. It makes me happy because it was a void that, you know, I had and that I felt like I could fulfill, but you never can fulfill that. So we worked on it, you know, we've, we've talked about things and we're in a good place. So we talk pretty often, which is nice. And we still haven't seen each other because I do live like three and a half, four hours away. But eventually we are gonna be meeting up and we'll be talking and seeing each other, which I'm super nervous about. You have to be able to heal to be able to grow. You're always gonna feel stuck and at a standstill if you don't let yourself heal. And you have to heal and feel those things that you feel uncomfortable with and the things that you may not want to talk about. And that's the thing. Sometimes a lot of people don't want to talk about their emotions. But if you don't want to talk about them, fine. But write them down. It's important to let them out some way, somehow. But honestly, talking about them 
feels good. So find someone who you can talk to, whether it's a therapist, whether it's, you know, a best friend, a sister, a mom, whoever, freaking coworker. But talk to people like I am very fortunate that I have a really good support system and, you know, my fiance was there for me one day where I just couldn't like keep my shit together and I had to just be like, I'm not okay. And I say this so many times in all my videos that it's an, it's okay to not be okay. Like you have to just tell yourself, I'm not okay. And it's okay. You shouldn't feel um, embarrassed or disappointed in yourself because we have to go through these things in order to grow. It all comes down to growing people. So it's either you want to or you don't. And if you don't want to grow, then you're always going to feel stuck. I just feel like it changed me in a way. You know, and it's still somewhat like surreal because I think to myself, I'm like, wow, I'm talking to my dad again. Like I've told you guys, like I'm trying to be, you know, a better person, not just for myself, but for others, a better, you know, worker, friend, daughter, fiance, soon to be wife. And as for work, you know that some of you, if you do follow me on Instagram, you see that I've been doing... Uh, more photo shoots, which I actually have another photo shoot coming up next week. Just really trying to, you know, do more print work, more editorial work. That is a goal of mine. I actually um, am emailing an agent uh, that wanted me to send over some pictures. So hopefully I can start getting some jobs with doing some print work which I'm really excited about that's something that I've always wanted to do since I was a little girl but again I was always so scared and anxiety just like literally it was just like <gasps> the thought of you know being in front of other people and you know trying to like go out there I want them to look somewhat natural the word is somewhat. <laughs> All right, let's curl our lashes. We're just gonna pop on the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. All right. Lip liner, my all-time favorite. I was finally able to find it. It's from L'Oreal, and it's called Toffee to Be. It is perfect. It's like the same color as my lips. Well, almost the same color. It's just a little darker. All right. And now I'm just gonna pop the Laura Geller Gilded Honey, which I'm so sad. <laughs> That they discontinued it. Okay. I'm just gonna pop that on. Add a little gloss to the lips. Clean my little piercing. I'm going to pop on some hoops. I'm gonna wait till my mascara dries. So then I could hit my face with some setting spray because when you do your mascara, don't ever go in with setting spray after. Trust me. I know from experience, okay? You will end up with the mascara literally all under your eyes. That's one thing that you want to avoid. So that is my quick little look for the park. My hair is still wet here. Super Latina, you guys already know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this get ready with me and just catching up with me. I will keep you guys posted when it comes down to all the wedding stuff and just what's going on with life. I can truly just say that my life is in 
an amazing place and I'm so grateful to be right where I'm at and everyone who is in my life. I wanna thank you so much for all of your support and love. Thank you to all my followers and subscribers and my kitties, because that's what I consider you guys. Thank you for all your love and support. I will see my kitties very, very soon. Also, don't forget to subscribe and do not forget to hit that notification bell to see whenever I post next. I love you guys.